Hello guys and my valued viewers, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hopefully you are all fine like before. Big news for Daynard just dropped. I always try my best to provide you the updated information. So, this video is about the latest announcement of Iraqi Daynard news. Hit subscribe to stay informed and comment below. The recent coordination between the U.S. Federal Reserve and the Iraqi Central Bank highlights a significant effort to stabilize Iraq's financial market. As part of this collaboration, the Iraqi Central Bank has secured approval for a supply of U.S. dollars in 2024. This approval is a critical move, especially given the economic pressures that Iraq has been facing in recent times. The provision of U.S. dollars is expected to alleviate some of the strain on Iraq's currency which has been under considerable pressure due to prorious factors, including fluctuations in oil prices, domestic economic challenges, and global financial trends. By injecting dollars into Iraq's economy, the Central Bank of Iraq hopes to bring about a more stable environment, helping to control inflation and maintain the value of its currency. This agreement reflects a broader attempt by Iraq to manage its financial landscape with the help of international institutions. The U.S. Federal Reserve's approval underscores the importance of a stable relationship between Iraq and the global financial system, particularly with the United States. While this move is aimed at providing immediate relief to Iraq's financial system, it is also part of a larger strategy to ensure that Iraq's economy remains integrated with the global market. The steady flow of U.S. dollars can help Iraq manage its foreign exchange needs, particularly as it continues to rely on the U.S. dollar for many of its international transactions, including oil exports, which are crucial to its economy. However, it is important to note that, while this agreement provides much-needed support to Iraq's financial system, there has been no specific mention of a revaluation of the Iraqi diner at this stage. The focus of the current coordination between the, between the two institutions appears to be on stabilizing the market rather than on adjusting the currency's value. Revaluation typically involves a deliberate change in the exchange rate of a country's currency relative to other currencies. And while that might be a future consideration, the immediate priority is clearly on ensuring that Iraq's currency can hold its value and that its financial markets remain stable. This development is a positive sign for Iraq, especially considering the economic difficulties it has faced in recent years. The influx of U.S. dollars will likely provide some breathing room for the country's central bank as it navigates a complex financial landscape. While revaluation may not be on the table right now, this coordinated effort with the U.S. Federal Reserve is an important step in Iraq's ongoing efforts to maintain economic stability and improve its financial standing. The next few months will be crucial in determining how effective this strategy will be in easing the financial pressures on Iraq's economy and Kirkani and currency.